opposition leaders are demanding the swift gazettement of the IEBC selection panel to expedite the reconstitution of the electoral body. Led by Kalonzo Musioka and DAP case Eugene Wamalwa, the leaders claim the delay in forming the IEBC is a deliberate move by the state to stifle democracy in Kenya. They have in, accused the National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula of withholding the nine nominees' names instead of forwarding them to, the, to President William Ruto for gazettement. The opposition also warns, warns the repercussions for any attempts to extend elected leaders' terms from five to seven years. Let's get more from our very own Willie Lusige. Opposition leaders are calling for the immediate appointment of the Independent Electors and Boundaries Commission, describing the delay in recruiting commissioners as a political landmine causing multiple challenges, including stalled by elections. May I take this opportunity to thank Led by Kalonzo Musioko of Waipa and Eugene Wamal of DAPK Kenya, opposition leaders are demanding the swift gazettement of the selection panel to pave way for the reconstitution of the electoral body. It is obvious they want to prolong this whole thing about establishing a new IEBC. We say it plainly. The leaders warn that democracy in Kenya is at risk without the recruitment of the IEBC commissioners. So, uh, they accuse Speaker Moses Masika Wetangula and National Assembly Clerk Samuel Njoroge of frustrating efforts towards the realization of a properly formed electoral body. There has been no movement in Parliament deliberately to delay this process. So we are here today as the opposition to demand immediate gazettement of the IEBC selection panel uh, who should move with speed to put in place the new IEBC and we should stop these shenanigans and sideshows that have caused the delay for all this period. The Kalonzo-led team has also called for the president's resignation, accusing his administration of overseeing police brutality, abductions and extrajudicial killings. Musioka condemned the recent abductions by security officials, terming them as violation of human rights. Mr. Ruto should resign with immediate effect for violating his oath of office to be faithful and bear true allegiance to the public, to the Republic of Kenya. Over the past three days, Mavri Kaoko and Boniface Mwangi have been kidnapped from their houses. After being freed, Mwangi was accused of inciting others. It's still not clear where Ms. Aoko is. The opposition has vowed to resist any efforts to amend the constitution, to amend the term limits for the president and other elected officials. If there's one thing Kenyans will come out from the villages, from everywhere, and oppose Neo Kitwa term extension, eh, at Kutoka Kwa MCA, Mpaka Kwa President, they can see through this. They're already fed up. The opposition has now criticized the delay in the gazettement of the IBC commission, citing the delay as intentional and accusing the government of stalling the process to serve its own interests. Willie Lusige, Citizen TV, at Karen, in Nairobi.